We all have come across people who seem incredibly friendly, but something just feels a bit off. These individuals often have a knack for manipulation, carefully veiled under a charming persona. The thing about such individuals is they usually exhibit certain traits that give them away. Identifying these traits can help you steer clear of their manipulation. Simon Kawa, YouTube. Hiya, welcome to my channel. My name is Simon Kawa. I'm a truck driver from Africa. Lately been part time and I've had more time to do extra topics. So let's dive in. Overly friendly. One trait you'll often find in individuals who are manipulative. Underneath their friendly exterior is excessive charm. Now, don't get me wrong. Being charming isn't a bad thing. However, when charm is used excessively, it can often be a tool for manipulation. This is because people tend to let their guard down around someone who seems likable and charismatic. Manipulators know this and use their charm to their advantage. It helps them build trust quickly and make you feel comfortable. The danger lies in the fact that once this trust is established, it's easier for them to subtly manipulate the situation to fit their needs so while it's great to be around charming people always be alert if you sense that someone's charm feels too desperate or deliberate or over the top it may be a sign they have arterial motives remember genuine charm is effortless while manipulative charm is calculating number two they twist the truth from personal experience, I've noticed another trait that often goes hand in hand with manipulative individuals. They are good at twisting the truth. They may do it a slight bit. Let me share a story. I had a friend. Let's call him Jack. Jack was a cheerful guy, always the life of, of any gathering. But over time, I began to notice something odd. Every time we had a disagreement or difference in opinion, he had a way of twisting things subtly. For instance, once we were planning a trip and disagreed on the destination. So I suggested we go to Edinburgh in Scotland, a place that I knew properly. I've been there. And Jack preferred we drive to Ramsgate on the coast. Right. Edinburgh is farther, I know. Um, and different experience. He ended up telling the rest of our friends that I was insisting on exhausting trip and painted it as if I didn't care about the group, what the group wanted. I felt unheard and misunderstood, but he managed to present it in a such a way that made him seem considerate and me look selfish. But it was just a different choice. This twisting of truth is a common trait among manipulative individuals. They have a tendency for bending reality to suit their narrative and gain the upper hand. Watch out for those people who play fast and loose with facts. It could be a sign of underlining manipulation. Number three, they play the victim. One of the more subtle yet effective tactics used for manipulating individuals is playing the victim they have a way of turning situations around to make it seem as as if they're the ones being wronged even when they are clearly at fault it's quite fascinating to learn that psychologists often refer to this as victim syndrome it's a psychological term used to describe people who tell to perceive themselves or present present themselves as victims in different situations this tactic can only be effective if only diverts attention from actions but also elicits sympathy making it harder for you to hold them accountable if you notice someone habitually playing this victim especially when things go wrong take a step back evaluate their behavior it could be very well be a manipulative tactic they are employing. 
Number four, they are masters of guilt tripping. Tripping, often making you feel bad for not mating, meeting their expectations or doing things their way. Suppose you ever find yourself feeling guilty after interacting with someone, even when you know you've, been, you've done nothing wrong. Yeah? But you feel guilty. Just know this one. They know how to. It's a way for them to get what they want by making you feel obligated or pressuring you into complying with their wishes. Manipulators use this tactic to gain control and influence over others. So next time you find yourself feeling guilty without a valid reason, consider if it's because the other person might be trying to manipulate you. Mm -hmm. Number five, they use flattery to get what they want. Who doesn't like to be complimented? Hmm? Well, we all do. These individuals are adept at giving compliments that feel good in the moment, but are actually aimed at serving their own interests. It's a subtle way of influencing you to see things their way or do something they want. Now, if you haven't subbed to this lovely channel, please Give us a subscribe, give us a thumbs up, just to make sure the videos keep coming your way. Number six, they disregard your feelings. One of the most hurtful traits of manipulative individuals is their disregard for others' feelings. They tend to focus solely on their own needs and wants, often at the expense of those around them. Imagine sharing a personal concern or problem with a friend. Only for them to dismiss it, or even worse, use it against you later. It's a horrible feeling, isn't it? Yet this is something manipulative individuals often do. They might minimize your feelings, make you feel like you're overreacting. Or they may ignore your concerns entirely. You're reading too much into it, isn't just dismissive, it's manipulative. It's an attempt to make you doubt yourself and undermine your confidence. Remember, your feelings are valid. Anyone who makes you feel otherwise, no matter how friendly they may seem on the surface, might not be your friend at heart. They, number seven, they are really straightforward. In my experience, I've noticed that manipulative individuals are really straightforward. They often have a roundabout way of communicating, leaving you feeling confused. Or second guessing yourself. I once knew someone who would never directly ask for anything. Instead, they would hint at it or talk around the subject, making it hard to understand what they really wanted. I found myself constantly trying to interpret their words and actions, which was both draining and frustrating. This indirect communication is a manipulative tactic used to maintain control. It leaves you unsure and off balance, making it easier for them to manipulate the situation. So if you often find yourself feeling confused after interacting with someone, it might be because they are not being straightforward with you. Number eight, they are always right. Ever met someone who just can't admit they're wrong? This is another trait common among Manipulative individuals, they tend to believe they are always right and will, will go to great lengths to avoid admitting any fault. Whether it's a minor disagreement or a major argument, argument they twist facts, change their story or even outright deny any wrongdoing. This refusal to admit fault isn't just stubbornness. It's a manipulative tactic designed to keep you second-guessing yourself. This behavior can be exhausting and damaging, especially in a close relationship. If you find yourself dealing with someone who never admits they are wrong, it may be a sign of deeper manipulative tendencies. Number nine, they lack genuine empathy. At the core of all these manipulative traits lies one key characteristic. A lack of genuine empathy. Manipulative individuals often struggle to understand or share feelings of others, making it easier for them to use people 
for their own gains. Empathy requires us to put ourselves in someone else's shoes to feel what they feel. But for someone who's manipulative, others' feelings are often secondary to their own goals. Do you know someone like that? This lack of empathy is perhaps the most telling sign of a manipulative individual. I'm gonna leave this video at this. Hey, 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 hey. Be in the know, be forward. My new interests now are in quotes, life quotes, psychology, human behavior. Because I'm reading a lot of books, yeah? Last night I finished this, The Lost Man. All right, three brothers, one death, no answer. They are in Australia, people who come from this country. Then I have got, these are my two current ones. I bought this for, I got this from the library. One is this, Sandra Brown, Thicker Thieves. I've seen this uh, about places, Thicker Thieves. I think there's a new film about it. And then there is this one, that is The Salt Path. This is something to do with uh, England, South Coast, just this. What was Somerset to do? Said something. Hi. So I'm reading loads of books. I want. I, I'm interested in what's going on. How do people think? How do people react? What happens when what? Very good stuff. So I'm gonna leave it at this. Stay safe. God bless. Love.